Hello everyone, in the previous video, we saw how to create a virtual machine optimized for deep learning on the Google Cloud platform. In this video, we would like to connect to this machine using a terminal, usually for Linux and Mac OS users, and Putty, which is an SSH client on Windows. So let's get started. So as you can see, our machine has two IP address, an internal IP and an external IP. The internal IP is the local IP of, of the machine in the local network, while the external IP is the IP address used to access this machine from the internet. So what I recommend you to do is to make this external IP address to be static in such a way that we can connect to this machine all the times without worrying about the IP address or worrying about if this machine has rebooted because in case of a reboot, the IP address will be definitely changed. So to do that, we navigate to we click on the navigation menu and scroll down to VPC network is down. Here it is. And scroll to VPC network. Here it is. And here we click on external IP address. So this is our current machine. To make this IP address static, we need to change it from ephemeral to static IP. So I will click on static and this pop up. So I need to give a name, like a name of a name uh, link to my IP. I will call it deep learning. And a description, a description can be anything. It's not obligatory. I'll just, so I will still call it deep learning, deep learning VM and reserve. You see, it's creating the IP address of my, of my machine here. So this is it. Now this is the IP address of our machine and this is the IP address we will use whenever we need to connect to this machine. The next thing to do now is to create our public and private key pairs which will be used to access this virtual machine whenever necessary. And to do that, we need to go to the terminal. Since I told you earlier, there are two ways of doing it, either from the terminal or from Putty. But this first option is from the terminal. And I will go to my terminal. As you can see, I'm using Windows, but I will use the Git, the Git Bash which is a terminal similar to the terminal we have on Linux and Mac OS. So if you are currently on Mac OS or Linux, feel free to use it. So because it is basically the same terminal as um, Windows, as um, Mac OS and Linux. So to create, I will navigate, I will navigate to my documents. I will navigate to my documents and create a folder called demo. Just for demo purposes, but actually your private and public key pairs should be saved in a secured area. But since for demo purposes, I will just do it here. So I will go to demo and create the the key pairs. So to do that, we will use the ssh keygen command minus t. You put the encryption the encryption method minus f. The name of the of the public and private key files. So I will call it uh, deep learning and minus C capital C is the name of the user which will access which the user which will be used to access this machine. So I will call it Nathan. So that is it. Now it's asking us. Now it's asking us for the uh, passphrase the passphrase should be at least five characters so i'll put in a passphrase type again and that is it as you can see our public and private key pairs have been created so if i do not an ls you can see the two files you see the the private key the private key is this one zip learning and the public key is this one the next thing to do is to add our public key to our virtual machine and to do that, we click on this virtual machine. When it opens, we click on edit. 
and we scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until we see SHH keys here. We currently have zero SHH key in our virtual machine. So we need to add our public key to, to this text box. So let's go, let's go to where we created our virtual, to where we created our public and private key files. Here are those. Here's a private key and here's a public key. So I will open, I will open this with a text editor and this is my public key so I will copy the public key and paste it here as you can see the name of the user which will be used to access this machine using this public key is called it's called uh, Nathan so this is okay and and save click on save now our public key is successfully added to our virtual machine so now we can now connect we can now connect to this uh machine using uh using the public and private key paste we just created and to do that we use the ssh ssh minus i minus i you put the path to the private key since i'm currently on the folder on the folder demo i will just put the name the file name but if you're not in this folder you need to put the path to this to this file so my file is called zip learning and the user is called Nathan right and the IP address of my machine is 35.247.29.2 right it's okay and you type it type in yes and enter the passphrase so let me enter the passphrase so now you can as you can see i'm successfully connected to the virtual machine we created so this is my virtual machine you can see if i see ls you can see i'm not current i'm not on, i'm not in my terminal right now i'm in the virtual machine as you can see right now so this shows that we successfully connected to this virtual machine using the ssh and this can be done both on linux and on Mac OS. Okay, so that is it. I invite you to click on the link above to find out how to connect to your VM using Potsy.